data. I need data. My mind rebels at stagnation. Give me problems. Give me work. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Today, we're quite worried about Sherlock Holmes, actually, uh, because at the end of the last episode, he had a rather a, a trippy encounter with some spooky doors and a horrible tooth worm that sort of ate him all up. And just... Wow. Watson just put his fingers through the brim of his hat. Um, generally speaking, had a, a weird, trippy, eldritch time. Um, and now we're controlling Dr. Watson. Will he go through the same hallucination? I doubt it, but you never know. To illuminate something with your lantern, use right mouse button. Oh, look at that, yeah. This is all very... They dug too deep and too greedily. It's very Minds of Moria. Watson! Holmes, where are you? Oh, he doesn't sound happy at all. He sounds quite scared, which is weird, because we're not used to Sherlock Holmes expressing emotion. There's something the... Uh, there he is. It's something that... Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, that's right. Yes, there was a dead man on the slab who went like... Blah, 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 at, uh, at Holmes. But, yeah, the um, the Conan Doyle estate is uh, actually quite... They guard quite carefully against uh, portrayals of Sherlock Holmes showing too much emotion. Because they consider his... Um, his unemotional... Um, characteristics to be very, very important to the character. So there you go. Hello, old cock. Holmes. Holmes. Are you all right? Uh, fine. Watson, um, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Fine? By Jove, you should have heard the way you called out my name. It's hung it over. Just a game of shadows. Oh? I'm glad. This place gives me the chills. What are we dealing with? Dead body. Something that's finally interesting. Well, I'll say that for him. He bounces back pretty quick, doesn't he? Right. So. That seems very much like an illustration of Cthulhu. And this is a dead person. Here we go, then. Broken nails, dried mud crumbs. Okay. Eyes very much open. Cyanosis of the lips, marks on the neck. This man was strangled. Mm. He had an innie. His abdomen is severely bloated. Oh, and his abdomen is severely bloated. Okay, all right, well. What have we got here? Needle prick. Wow. Okay. So. This is, no, this is one of those, aha. So either somebody strangled him like that, or, no, that's all we've got right now. Okay, so he was strangled by one of those drawing mannequins. Well, somebody had a good old-fashioned prey. Okie dokie. Good. I mean, not good, obviously. Sorry. Very bad. Very upsetting. Let's have a look over here. Well, that looks like a ritual knife, doesn't it? Ooh. I've never seen a pattern like this before. I have. Dramatic irony is a hell of a thing. Aha! Old blood stains. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Advertisement flyer. Northwood Agency. Any manner of discreet investigations for you. We shall search the world. 154 Pennsylvania Lane, Boston, Massachusetts. Hmm. Okay. And this is United States of America also. To all whom these presents shall come greeting. An American passport. Oh. Amos Colby. 
Agnes Colby. Oh, goodness. Someone got their hands dirty painting this with blood. Well, the man on the altar, perhaps, because he had a pinprick on his uh, fingertip. A sea creature, perhaps an octopus. Yes, perhaps. At least two dozen pendants, all identical and made of tin. Well, that will match the pendant with which the boy was hired. I imagine. That's what I wager. What have we got over here? Let's see. This box contained a narcotic substance, much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. Well, well. This box contained a narcotic substance, much like the one in Kimihia's brazier. Indeed. It seems we're looking for more than just old Tin Eye. What's his name? Steel Eye Span or whatever. It seems made for simple experiments. I wager they could not afford a better set. All right. Slightly classist, but fine. What else have we got? What else have we got? Wait. Oh, did I miss something here? Hmm. No. I th this box, box contained, contained a narcotic, narcotic substance. 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 Much, Much like, like the one, one in Kimi 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 Yes. Ah, there we go. That's what we're missing. I... Oh, brazier is one of those words that I try to avoid saying as much as humanly possible because on several different occasions, including while running games of Dungeons and Dragons, I've said brazier, which of course is a bra. And uh, people don't let that go lightly. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that for nothing. Black Edelweiss Institute established 17 something. Black Edelweiss. Interesting. Edelweiss. Oh, let's talk to her. I oh. hope we are close to finding our answers. This place is unsettling. Indeed. What else? What else can we find? Oh, look. We've got a... Uh... Was he stabbed? I mean, he... no, he wasn't. So we want the previous one. Because we know he was strangled because of the, the marks on his neck. I believe he'd done the drawing on the passport himself after pricking his own finger. Whether it's his passport or not, of course, is another question. Now, is there anything around here? Uh -huh. Oh, I'll say there is. I'll bloody well say there is. Oh, potent. This sensor has more narcotic residues. Right. What on earth? It looks like the scribbling of madmen. Hmm. Tank, though. No. Right, where's the next? Right. Okay, that's a bit much, but all right. What about this really stoned man? Oh. That looks... All right, we'll keep it on that one for now. I just feel like that's maybe slightly more likely given the number of people that were here and all of the drugs. But then a lot of these people, lest we forget, were kidnapped. Or at least pressed into service, service under false pretenses. So we cannot be certain. But, aha. Uh -huh. These clothes are missing buttons. They were forcefully removed. Yeah, I'm no longer sure that there were loads of people worshipping. Dumpra, a staple of lecture men's attire in Nepal. Ah. Gathered from dozens of people, at the very least. going to be that one, isn't it? It said the clothes were removed forcefully. And there's two more two more ghostly scenarios to find in this room. Oh, Christ alive. Miserable food, mass produced. Okay, okay. Sherlock Holmes does not enjoy crab soup. Noted. 
got over here? A coffin. Is it a coffin? I don't know. What have we got? What have we got? Oh, hello. The strength it would take to carry this crate, let alone break it. <laughs> yeah. Torn finger. Oh, yeah. Deep scratches left in a frenzy. Your, your man on the table had uh, broken fingernails. <laughs> they were abducted, abducted and put into crates. Which is unpleasant, really. When you think about it. Where's the last? Here we go. Here we go. Oh. A small blood stain, but not serious. Okay. The whole situation does seem quite serious, if you ask me, but sure. Alright, what we got? Ah. Uh, or. No. I, this I doubt. Because he was talking about the strength needed to carry the crate, let alone break it. So I think it's more likely a tool was involved. And that the man. Oh, but then. There's no man inside this one, is there? Maybe it is this one. Uh, let's leave it on that for now. I think I'm, we'll get a clearer picture soon. Now, we know there's one more. We've already looked at all this. I know there's a doorway down there. I'm just gonna have a. Ah ha ha ha! Of course it's the statue. That's not good. Did you hear that, Watson? I, uh, I hear you. That's not what I asked, Watson. Aha, what we got? Wellity, wellity, wellity. Mud intentional drawing? Someone used mud to draw a cross in a rectangle. Why? Weird, but okay. These clothes were crudely cut off someone. An American, judging by the style. Yeah. And then we got the passport. Who was the man on the altar? What's this now? Blood. Human hair. Someone had their brains dashed out there, apparently. That's unpleasant. Uh, what else have we got? I mean, there's a lot of blood on the floor, but I'm struggling to actually focus on that. Somehow. How am I so... <laughs> Holmes, Holmes, there's so much blood here. Holmes? Holmes? Mr. Sherlock Holmes? Oh, this is driving me slightly up the wall. sort of move and then come at it from a different angle. Nope. The angle is the same. Oh, ooh, wait. There was something there, wasn't there? Oh, what? Come on. The greatest mystery is... Is it Fappa? Oh, it's the rope. Or is it... Why won't you let me fucking... Oh. Fine rope work. Cut by a finer blade. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Now let's see what we reckon. Or. Well, that doesn't take everything into account. I might. Let's see, what have we got? We've 
we've got strangulation while worshipping. We've got drawing while other people worship. That I see being less likely. We've got forceful removal of clothes. We've got a man in the crate. I'm going to change this one. just being... Oh, no, but then they aren't the scribblings of a madman. These are organised religion. No, I'm going to keep it at that. Um, this one... Oh, dear. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's validate. Let's see what we get. I don't think Many I'm people right. were brought to this place. Their abductors stripped off their clothes and discarded them in a pile. Yes. The prisoners were kept in a soporific trance by the use of narcotics. Okay. A few try to resist, but alas, in vain. After a few days, everyone was stuffed in a crate and sent elsewhere. Only one captive was left behind. He was strangled to death on this altar. I feel quite good about that, actually. I mean, not the fact that a man's dead, but the fact that I deduced all of that without completely balking it. That was very satisfying. Uh, wh what the hell is happening, Holmes? Calm yourself. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Cannot be. We don't love it. What is it? Eels? Oh, my God. All right, calm down. Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. Nope. I think we found a bit more than that. Mm. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong, Watson. We have more than enough. Ooh. I just need to connect the dots. Okay. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? Just in case. Holmes has got uh, some five o'clock shadow going on. A game of five o'clock shadows. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, I think I unlocked a new outfit. It's a worker's apron. I shan't be wearing that. Watson's typewriter. Oh, are these just things we can look at? Okay. All right. Okay. Before I leave, I should know where I'm going. Oh, right, okay. Right, well, where am I supposed to do the next? Oh, probably over here. Hey, is this the, de the bit of detector detectorizing I need to do? Or do I just need to talk to Watson again? It's hard to know how much to pack. I might bring a spare notebook just in case. Nerd. Wait a minute. What if Johnny? It's in the same bit where you answer all of the bloody questions. Who is the dead man on the altar? Okay. So, it's not going to be the pendant or the poster or any of this. Unknown man on the altar. That we definitely need, on account of him being the dead man on the altar. Strange symbols. Kimmy here's whereabouts. Passport, because that's him. And then probably the advert, because that was on the table next to the passport. Amos Colby from the Northwood... Oh, God! The man on the altar was a private detective from the Northwood Agency in Boston. Mr. Colby may have, investigating the dis may have been investigating the disappearances before getting caught and killed by the perpetrators. Whoops-a-daisy, Amos. Meanwhile, where have the abducted been sent to? Let's... I'm going to go tin box with Edelweiss. Cross inside rectangle. He was probably trying to give us a sign, wasn't he? Invoice for sale cloth? No. Uh, I don't want it. It's probably not the pendant, is it? 
Dead man is able as cold me cold cold will be. Missing person poster, no. Hiring notice. Suppose warehouse twelve happenings. That's just a way of getting homes to bring in all of the stuff we've deduced. Let's do that. Hey! Yes, 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 yes. Black Edelweiss Institute, Switzerland. Established in the 1700s, it lies somewhere in Switzerland. Understood. Really wish his mind palace was less polypy, you know? The abductees are headed for the Black Edelweiss Institute. Established in the blah, blah, blah. Pin that evidence. Cross inside rectangle. Put it with mud. Yeah. Okay. Please tell me we're going somewhere warm, or at the very least, dry. Neither. I actually don't know. Some key information for your case can be found in the archives. Open your casebook with C and high evidence marked with an open book. For space to start your research in the archives. Hmm? Wait, I need to read that again. Key information for your case can be found in the archives. Open your case with a C and highlight evidence marked with an open book. Press space to start your research in the archives. What's been... Nothing's been... Oh, that one. There's the open book symbol. Right, search this in the archives. Location. Europe. Date of establishment. 1700s. Black Edelweiss? Medicine? Type of organization? I don't know. Ah. Medical, mental illnesses and addiction. <laughs> Currently headed by Professor Gygax. Okie dokie. Professor Keller is sort of mental illness and addictions. Dr. Whoops. Watson, oh. how does a trip to Switzerland sound to you? It sounds unexpected. What makes you think we should head there? I'm brilliant. It's all about the box with narcotics and Mr. Colby's clue, the cross inside a rectangle. Put oh, two the flag. together, add a dash of research, and what do you get? The Black Edelweiss Institute in Interlaken, Switzerland. Mm. If we hurry, we can still catch tonight's train. Hooray! Whispers in the dark. Complete chapter two. Wistful Watson there. Real protagonist energy, listening to Sad Girl Indy. As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to investigate Edelweiss alone. What? Hello? Mr. Holmes, I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. Huh. I'm no such thing. As a doctor, I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. Too many to help. That sounds shit. The man with the rosary. He was one of them. A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. I thought it was the end. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run, that I had other men to save. They charged, and I fled through the rear. So you see, Mr. Holmes, oh, he's crying. I am a coward. Oh no, the logic seems inescapable. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that. Country. Oh, there you go. What? No. And how many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended. No more than a handful. Truth be told, I have become somewhat of a recluse. How many people could you help with 30 years ahead of you? Dozens? Hundreds? Hatchet was correct. You can cease your self-recrimination. Yes. Holmes, I... I don't know what to say. I would start with, I am Dr. John Watson, may I look around? <laughs> God, he is a prick sometimes, isn't he? A brilliant mind, but... Bit of a prick sometimes. Uh oh. This 
Dale's not unlike the Star Dracula. Staff will doubtless be eager to show off their facility to a fellow physician. Of course. I have already taken the liberty of sending a letter on your behalf to request a visit. Uh -huh. And what of you? I shall be pursuing other avenues. Should you see anything troublesome or improper, simply notify the local authorities. Otherwise, try a little analysis yourself. You know my methods. Apply them. What the fuck? That is not your standard spiderweb, is it? Spooky. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay. So let's contextualize this a bit. Obviously, there's something going on in this institution. And so I think we can expect that the care that these mental patients are getting is going to be um, esoteric, outdated, because of course this is set some time ago, and um, sort of archaic and, and, and cruel. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a depiction of a time when basically mental illness was not really properly understood and wasn't really uh, very well treated. Um, I am... I don't know how much hope I'm holding out for this, that they aren't just going to use, like, the asylum as uh, just, like, a horror trope. I have some I have some fairly strong opinions on the use of asylums as, like, an othering, like, ooh, it's scary kind of thing. Um, in fact, if you search low batteries, the problem with video game asylums, I've done a whole video on it. It was years ago now, but uh, I still stand by it. The depiction of video of, of mental health asylums in video games is often not great. So let's all brace ourselves and see what comes out of this. Obviously, there's some supernatural stuff going on here. So I don't think the obviously I don't think the objective of this section is going to be like mental patients are scary and we should be scared of them. I don't know what I don't know how this is going to come out, but we'll see, we'll see what we get basically. So. On three. One, two, three. Let's go. Hello, I'm Dr. John Watson. May I look around? Salutations, Oh! I am Dr. John Watson. I was wondering if you've got word of my visit. Yeah, Dr. Watson. We received your letter on the matter. Would it be to see Professor Gygax? It's probably a bit sus to be like, no, I just want to poke about the place. At their earliest convenience, yes. I shall try not to take up too much of their valuable time. Wait here, Peter. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Bronson, your girl has made remarkable progress. See? Take a look for yourself. My apologies for keeping you ah. waiting, Dr. Surely you understand how medical work can make one lose track of time. Mm. Do not be sorry, Professor. I too know the importance of closely attending to patients. The work hardly stops here. Yet the satisfaction of perfecting the mind compels us to persevere. I take it you welcome many a soul into your establishment? Admissions, yes. Visitors, though? I am curious as to what brought you to the Schwarzes Edelweiss. Mm. Word of mouth. An article I read back in London spoke highly of your institution. But rather than taking its word for it, I thought I would see things for myself. My asylum's reputation precedes it then. Everyone, your attention, please. Guten day. Yes. Hi. Hello. The name's Amos Colby. No, it isn't. Northwood Detective Agency, Boston. I got questions that need answers. Who's in charge here? What seems to be the matter, Dr. Watson? You can tell me. That man is dead. By Jove. It cannot be him. That man there is a fraud. That man? Well, the, the real Amos Colby lies six feet under in London. Yeah. No, 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 no. In my line of work, it can't wait. The longer it takes if you to wish get to, to the recuperate, truth, Dr. Watson, uh -oh. you may avail yourself of the guest room. Uh-oh. But I have so much more to discuss. Nurse, 
If you'd be so kind as to escort Dr. Watson to the guest room. Oh no. Herr Colby. From Northwood Agents. Oh no. How unexpected. I am Professor Gygax. I would be happy to answer your questions. In oh, I should have lied. Look, Professor. Unless you got any clues as to the whereabouts of... <laughs> There is no need to be a No one gets neglected in Oh no, I fed the fed the man to the bad people. He's being eaten by a cult. Why didn't I lie? I was just trying to be clever. Now now. Let's not resort to brute force. Do not worry, Herr Colby. My methods are rather more delicate. Oh god. It's all going a bit Bioshock. Glowing blue syringe is never good. Oh fuck. Search him silently. Then take him to the holding chamber. I need to decide precisely what to do with our guest. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Wait, am I playing as him now? Okay. This is un this is thoroughly unexpected. I'm so sorry. New protagonist. Ah, the unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Mm. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the street? Wait a minute. I've got an English accent now. Oh, it's Holmes. <laughs> it's Holmes. Look. Why didn't I see that coming? Why didn't I see that coming? Oh, you absolute bounder, Holmes. Okie dokie then. So, I want to go up to... Is that it? No. Oh, everything. Okay, so we need to bring that down, that up. That's not it either. So down on the rightmost, up again on the. Oh, silly me. Yeah, okay. Down on the rightmost and up one on the second and two. No. Like that? I think that might be it. Hey, ugh. Down again? Oh, bloody hell. Hey, that took me a while. Yes. Clever little puzzle. Okie dokie. I can't believe that. Oh, he's got an English accent now. That's weird. A truncheon. Not the typical tool for a nurse. Indeed. Holding chamber. Mm. Lucky all they did was bloody inject me rather than... Investigation scene found. Examination room. Block A. Okay. Apothecary. Well, 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 it well. All right. I assume they're going to have the high grade stuff here. The final product, ready to cure madness or to push one deeper into its grasp. Yep, that's how it works. Any chemist would envy the quality of this equipment. Mm, potassium bromide? That doesn't sound good. In fact, that sounds positively not good. Raw materials used to formulate medicine. Mm. With this equipment, they can create any type of medication. Any? Heavens. Syringes. You're already acquainted with these, Holmes. Very sturdy. I might borrow it. Holmes, you're stealing. 
Block A patients. Eloise K. Diagnosis, dermatillomania. Dermatillomania. Commentary. Nail trimming every day. Do not untie her hands even if she won't stop screaming. Patient, Maurizio H. Mania dissociation. After the incident with the nurses, prescribed therapeutic fasting for a week. Mentioned Josephine to make it more manageable. Patient, Mariana W. Diagnosis hysteria. Commentary. Keep raising the dosage until she forgets the child. Stupor is quite acceptable. Heavens. Patient Nils J. Nervous breakdown. Do not allow any visits. All letters sent to the patient must be destroyed. Okie dokie. Yeah, that just, this, this sounds not like treatment, but just trying to make people more manageable, which is... What was that? Is someone there? I'm sure I heard something. Can we... Who's there? Show yourself. Can we just knock him out. Hey, what are you doing? Oh. Right. Okay. Yes, I understand. Whoopsie doopsie. Oh, do I have to go look at all that stuff again now? Please say that I've done it all. Yes, great. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, well let's not go in there. We've already borrowed the syringe. Let's avoid that room. Let's see now. Ah, Hannes Winkler. And Lionel Reichert. You there! I command you to free me at once. I'm not sure that's a great idea at the moment. How dare you deny me? I must have my revenge against the Lickspittles upstairs. Fortunately for you, I'm here to stop the very same people. You are? Indeed. But first, I must discover all I can about this institution. Mm. Tell me, have you witnessed the arrival of any foreign patients? Tell me? The goal? The impertinence to bark such orders? Please, we don't have time for this. Do you know with whom you speak? No. I am the great Napoleon. Ah. Napoleon Bonaparte? The one and only. Emperor of the French, first consul of the Republic, leader of La Grande Armée. Once I am free and have exacted my revenge against the guards who ridicule me, I shall rest happy in the arms of my beloved Josephine. Right. Well, I will leave you to your scheming, Emperor. Didn't love that. Didn't love that. My heart is pierced by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me but my jolly sailor boat. Didn't love that. Okie dokie then. So, we only need a small nudge on the first one, a larger one on the second, small on the third, Larger again on the fourth, and largest on the fifth. So, small, we'll call it one up, two up. No, one up, three up, two up, three up, one, three, two, three, four. Bang! That was satisfying. Well, I'd like to go in there, okay. What have we got here then? A certificate of appreciation from the municipal councillor to Professor Becker for contributions to the development of medicine in Interlaken. Okay. Well, that looks like blood and a bottle and some nails. Why can I not focus on it? It seems pertinent. Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. A simple toolbox, yet capable of repairing anything. Yes, but also some blood. There's some blood here. Okay, okay, we're ignoring the blood. That's fine.
Professor Gygax, I have suffered serious chemical burns on my hand, the consequence of your inexcusable actions. My session with Gerda ended before it even began. Poor thing was so terrified she refused to talk and started to destroy everything in the room rather than let me approach her. What you did to Gerda will not and cannot happen again. Let it be known that I consider your methods a barbaric malpractice. If, as you so boldly claim, you wish to be the future of my facility, you must embody my high standards. Do not disappoint me again. Professor Becker, Director of Black Edelweiss. Where's the Professor now? Because she seems to be using those exact methods without... Uh, Tubes of difficulty. varying diameters. Interesting. Okay. Metal tubes, is it? I think the professor was Archie ousted. Hill, Dr. Connolly, it appears that all the psychiatric classics were banished here. Uh-oh. Quackery has won out. John Sallow, the Tulpa phenomenon. I'm somewhat of an expert already. <laughs> I can make up the names listed here. Fit. I can make up the names listed here. Cool. Gygax is there and Becker is there. This photo was damaged seemingly by oil. Weird. Oh, some things were burnt. Cooking grease. Oh, no. Is this the kitchen dumb waiter? Looks like it's still operational. Up we go then. A working damn waiter. All right. What have we got here? Spooky painting, no doubt. A painting in a mental institution. Vogel would be delighted. Zing! I assume. What else we got? Baby. Aha. A book. Speech and the Cerebellum by S.A. Becker. Back, they did back her in, didn't they? They've done him. They've done him in. Feels like there might be everything in the room. Working dumb ways. Metal tubes. Note from the professor. Patient hates the guards. Something macabre is going on in this island. Is this asylum rather? And every little detail will help in understanding it. Okay. Yes. Gygax shouldn't be running things. Gygax very much is. We can't go that way. That was my cell. Oh. Oh, look at that. Right. Now, what's up here? Oh, goodness. This sedative worked faster than I expected. Perhaps I ought to train myself. Build up a tolerance. It's five o'clock somewhere. I'd rather not sit in this chair ever again. Entirely fair. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Not for long. You arrived rather swiftly. Reception. What's in what's through here? Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Oh, indeed. Or his tragic haircut. 
Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. I dare say so. Is it dumb waiter time? Clump, 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 clump. Yes, I know all about block A. Is it dumb waiter time? Surely not. We can't get up there. Hmm. Oh, there is a ladder. But there's not a patch in the ceiling, so... You're not playing Dark Souls, Johnny. Come on. Well, if we've exhausted all avenues here, that's generally... There's a guest room, there's a bottle of sedative, guarded path. This is generally time to visit the mine palace, isn't it? Or not. You can't change clothes here. Sherlock Holmes. Is there nothing? Nothing. What are we missing? We must be missing something if we can't solve any questions. Have another gander upstairs. But well, that's not the way to upstairs, then, is it, John? I'm pretty certain we've got everything around here. We've already talked to everyone. I command you to let me out. Yeah, all right. Let's go back up. Is it this? Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. No. Well, we could feed him a whole bottle of sedative, I guess. Drag him in here. What's going on? There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Speak to Gygax. Well, maybe, I don't know. How the bleeding hell do we get out of here? Do I have to disguise myself again? No, they're gonna oh, know exactly who I fucking am. This is weird. I must be missing something. Holding chamber, yes, that was where I was, all right. Let's go back to back to sleep in the holding chamber. Oh, did I not block a patient? No, I've done this bit. Oh, apparently I hadn't found that before. Okay. Anything now? No. What was that? Is someone there? Instructed. Oh, okay. Oh, I hadn't found him. Of course I hadn't found him. Aha! There we go. Look. Oh, we're going this way. We're not going upstairs. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. No, that makes sense. Okay. Obstructed access to block B. Yes. Difficult. A bottle of sedative. I bloody well reckon. Sort of syringes. Okay, those two are right. And it's blue. Can we just whack him with a metal tube? Is it like a lead pipe situation? Oh, it is! Okay. Oh. 
could be possible to sedate the guard from a distance using a handmade blowpipe. That's much better than whacking someone and then injecting them. Yes. That's why you're Sherlock Holmes and I'm not Holmes. That's one of the tubes in the storage room could suit. Okay. All right. Well, do we have what we need now? I'm just going to save just in case I whiff this. Have we already I'm sure I heard something. Have we already made it? Oh, do we need, oh, we need to go get a, a tube, of course. That's the holding cell again. Yes, please. Yes, I would like this, please. This should suffice. There we go. There we go. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Got it. You need to wait for... Okay. All right. It's all about gathering data, turns out. Yeah. No, we got this. We got this. Cool. Oh, shit. In the arse. Hey, what are you doing? What? Okay, apparently it's not sh sh shooting him in the arse. Right, well, I've got to go get the bloody pipe again. Bollocks. Wait, no, I have, I have the pipe. Do I have the pipe? I have the pipe. Understood. Okay. What? Here we go then. Right. What's going? What? What? Oh, gotta get him there. Why didn't you say so? Jesus Christ! I got him twice. Night, night. Bye. Take that. Let's put him in the holding cell, I guess. This should be enough to avoid unwanted attention. At least from a distance. Well, well, well. It's like Hitman. That's a lot of sedative. That's like a lot. Manufactured and packaged here. Manufactured and packaged, packaged here. here. Size 9. Manufactured and packaged here. Yes. I know. Please update the clue thing. Clue bit. Oh my god. Sometimes the little cursor sniffy snip. Oh. Okay. Letter to Mr. Schnitzer. Herr Schnitzer. I hasten to ensure you that your son is in good hands and that this une his unexpected development of a psychological disorder can be remedied at our facility. Yeah. I am sure you are concerned about your son's well-being, as I am, and I am confident our combined efforts will lead to a speedy recovery. The housing of our pharmaceuticals in your warehouse is an important part of this process. If you succeed at drawing... Officials' attention away from this precious cargo, there will be nothing to stop you from returning your son to you safe, sound, and free of this unfortunate illness. He is being duped. They have kidnapped this guy's son, and they are, are toying with him to make him seem unwell, so that they can use that as leverage in order to get control of the warehouse where they are doing occult business. Professor Gygax, you are unpleasant. Is it this again? Please. What am I... This there I is the same narcotic substance that we found in London. Right, there we go. Okay. Just had to retake the bottle. Understood. Okie dokie. Yes, yes, oogie boogie. It's all very scary, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh, hello, fellow guards. How do you do? Some... Go away, or I will tear your lips from your skull with my fingernails. Miss, I... I'll gouge your eyes out and cut off your hands, just like you did to Heidi. I am quite certain you would, but I'm afraid you have me mistaken for someone else. Mm. So, I take it your name is Gerda? Who is Heidi? You talk strange. You're going to Hell's Door, aren't you? To where those other funny talkers finally shut up? Hell's Door? To what do you refer? Only Heidi had answers. Go away, pig! I merely... I said go, or you will spend your last moments on Earth screaming. This door won't stop me. Blimey. All right. Guess I suppose we should leave her alone, really. Restricted area. But I love restricted areas. Investigation scene found... Uh, well, I'm assuming it's the restricted area that we need to investigate. Okie dokie. Here we go, then. Steam pipe. Very ominous. Laundry. Ah, yes. The restricted laundry. Oh, I imagine they'll be burning something in here. Fabric burnt in the furnace. Incriminating. A jalabir. A traditional garment from Northern Africa. Yes. It's happening again. Same stuff, different... Garments of several dozen people at least. country. This, this, this whole place is a front for perfectly normal people that they are c controlling with narcotics. Oh, okay. Well, that's... No, thank you. Lord, how unsettling. The damage seems intentional. Oh, it's Heidi, look. So you're Heidi. I didn't realise I was on haunted doll watch. He said, pocketing Heidi. Guess we're going to go give Heidi over to the lady, right? Also a restricted area. in Georgia. They do have an eclectic bunch in here, don't they? What do we got here? Medical evaluations. N4. Age, young adult, sex, male, nationality, Dutch. Diagnosis, a weak-minded subject, eager to follow orders for perceived rewards. Strong build, dosed with 0.4 milligrams. N5, age, adult, sex, male, nationality, Romanian, diagnosis, the subject remained violent, requiring the need for traditional sedatives. Once calm, the dosage for the sub subject was minimal, 0.2 milligrams. N6, age, young adult, sex, male, nationality, ANU, diagnosis, language incomprehensible, subject is thus assumed mad, subject possesses a lighter, more agile frame, and as such, a smaller dosage was required, 0.2 milligrams. N7, Age, young adult, sex male, nationality, nationality Maori. Diagnosis, language incomprehensible. Subject is thus assumed mad. The subject was large and required an above average dosage. Above average dosage. 0.8 milligrams. Summary, all subjects in good condition showing signs of obedience regardless of race or native language. They must move on for further testing. Mmm, a little bit of eugenics going on here as well, it seems. More of this. So this is how they kept the prisoners docile and harmless. Yes, indeed. This is a sordid tale. Right. Something sticking out, is it? An orthodox reliquary commonly found in Eastern Europe, now in a cell halfway up the Alps. Mm. Curious. Okay. Hey, 
Heavens. Discoloration, strong chlorine smell. This stretcher was disinfected frequently. Hmm. Yeah, they're really, really getting through, folks, aren't they? High turnover. The stamp on this crate confirms it came from America. That's quite a distance to travel. Indeed. Quite a distance. Dead bolts, is it? The doors can be open for deliveries. Hmm. I dare say the delivery is going to be more like people in crates, but I need supporting evidence for These that. Are the same there we crates go. We found in London. I should take a closer look. Indeed. My good man. It's a broken bottle. A bottle this sturdy doesn't break by accident. Somebody was bottled. There's a lot of blood. Substantial blood loss. Ah. One poor soul found another way out. Oof, it's okay. Yeah, there are the scratches again, broken nails. Yes. Well, I think with that. We can absolutely, yes indeed, it's that. Yes, that is far more likely. Let's keep looking just in case. Dirt and sweat. They were locked in here for days, judging by the smell. This is the same design as the one from London. Yes. I doubt that one could survive such a journey with this little water. Bastards. Air hole. The kidnappers even provided airflow. How generous. This trip was prolonged and perilous. Indeed. I dare say it's this one. So there, there, and then this one. Yeah, let's validate. Let's see. Let's see what we got. No, wrong. The third one's wrong. Is it the third one? Which one's? Oh, it was that one. Oh, okay. Oh, so that one did live. Ah, another... F Which one's that one? It's this one. Oh. Really? They were marched through? I must be missing something. Yeah, I'm missing, I'm missing something more. What am I missing? There must be more evidence. Maybe there's something through here that depicts the poor bastard's fate. Data. I need data. Mind rebels at stagnation. Give me problems. Give me work. What's going on? Why haven't we found the third option for this first scenario? Ah, look. Blood hit from above. Right. 
Yes, that seems a lot more likely. Okie dokie. Of course, because we saw the truncheons earlier. Delightful. Just joyous. The carriages were back through these doors, and they began to unload their cargo in secret. Yes. Next, the crates were opened, freeing their passengers. Mm. Not everyone survived the journey. Quite. Dirty, exhausted, and dehydrated prisoners were then herded into cells. But all the cells are now empty, and I have not located a morgue. Time to find Hell's Door. Oof. Is it time to find Hell's Door, or should we save Hell's Door for next week? I think. Given it's called Hell's Door. Let's save it for next week. Um, thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Preston Kiddy. I need the plot has very much thickened. A lot. It's like someone threw a whole bag of cornstarch in. Um, but um, a minor aside about um, the depiction of mental health asylums in video games. Aside, actually, this is this is a plot like a plot where people are being controlled. So like, I don't feel like it's really leaning as heavily as other games into the the asylum is spooky trope mostly but um i am i am enjoying the the developing mystery in this game and um there was some some fun detective work in this episode so um thank you again for watching um if you're looking for other stuff to watch there's plenty more on the channel including past live streams and previous series of Preston Kiedini and all that good stuff I have a Patreon it's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Kiedini if you uh, are able to and willing to support me directly through that it really does make a difference um but either way I just want to say thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day see you next time